Joining us now, Jesse Weber, attorney and anchor for the Law and Crime Network, also a News Nation legal contributor. And Misty Marish, she's a trial attorney and legal analyst. And back with us is veteran journalist Geraldo Rivera. Geraldo, let me start with you on this. Just big picture, are you surprised by the ruling and what do you think happens now? I'm not at all surprised, Dan. This was uh, the Me Too movement run, uh, run amok. Uh, the judge was petrified by the, uh, the politics uh, involved. Uh, Weinstein, enormously unpopular, a, a noxious person. Uh, it couldn't happen to a, to a more rotten person. Uh, you know, I was, uh, however, shocked and uh, as a lawyer, uh, outraged by the fact that they caved to the politics of it. And they allowed all these women who had uh, nothing to do with this trial to testify. And worse than that, Dan, not only was he uh, facing people who uh, uh, did not f uh, file criminal complaints against him, uh, totally unrelated to the cases that uh, were filed, uh, he was told after the, uh, uh, the various hearings, the Sandoval hearing and so forth, that if he cross-examined the women, uh, he would be cross-examined himself about their allegations. So he had to sit silent when three women uh, came and gave their testimony uh, that was unrelated to the, the, to the uh, complainants yep. in this case. Misty, it, was, it was absolutely, it was so, so unfair. I thought it was a close call. Um, I wasn't shocked when the Court of Appeals ruled what it did, but... You know, I also thought it was a close call for the judge. Thoughts? Yeah, I agree. It was a close call, but I wasn't surprised at all that this was a result. As a New York practitioner, prior bad acts coming in, it is a very, very narrow set of circumstances that that happens. And so in this case, when we were watching the trial and it was allowed in, it was always going to put that verdict in potential peril. And this happened in the Bill Cosby case, by the way, as well. Same issue. Same result in a, in a conviction getting overturned. So, Dan, you know, I covered the Harvey Weinstein trial. I was in the courtroom almost every day. I couldn't, and I say this as somebody who's not saying Harvey Weinstein is innocent. This is not a defense. This is 100% the right decision. And I was concerned at the time when the judge was allowing this in that this could happen. And when you talk about the prior bad acts witnesses, like these Molyneux witnesses, it wasn't just that, you know, you allow it. Their circumstances, what they testified to, were completely different than the three complainants, the three women who actually brought the charges. And the, uh, what Harvey Weinstein would be cross-examined, it wasn't just about their testimony. They'd be allowed to cross-examine about fights that he had, screaming matches, him getting out of business deals, him attacking his brother, how any of that is relevant to his credibility. But the judge, James Burke, and I have to tell you this, I'm in that courtroom, there were many times he did things that looked biased towards the defense. And I think a lot of us were saying it seems strange. There was a moment in the courtroom, it was freezing, and I remember defense counsel for Harvey Weinstein said, can you shut the window? And he mocked them and wouldn't do it. And I said to myself, it just, it felt like it crossed the line. And obviously you wouldn't be able to get an appeal on that, but it kind of was a symptom of a larger problem. And let me play a piece of sound. This is Jessica Mann, who testified for days in the 2020 trial. Uh, she spoke to News Nation in 2021, was actually asked about the possibility of this happening. Let's listen. Harvey Weinstein has submitted an appeal. He says he did not receive a fair trial and that his constitutional rights were violated. How do you respond to that? It's so typical. He's looking for the loopholes. Anything he can find, and at this point it's not a surprise, it's the hundred plus voices of women who never knew each other, who never spoke, who lived in the dark and hid this shame and dealt with this trauma, attest to the fact that this man is not innocent. So he's delusional. Geraldo, a lot of the victims uh, around the country furious about the ruling. Yeah, but Dan, it's, I, I feel for every one of them. It is, it's horrible. This is a sex assault uh, is such an affront. It's such a, a, a trespass. It's a, it's a horrible scar. Uh, but uh, this is, we're talking about law and order here. We're talking about crime and punishment here. And his unpopularity, the fact that, he, and he has the most rotten reputation of anyone I ever, you question anybody about Harvey Weinstein, he stunk up the, he stunk up the joint. But that's exactly the person that you need to follow the rules. If you want a conviction that's going to stick and send him away for the, uh, for the decades yeah. uh, that, he was, that he was already uh, serving, then you've got to stick to the rules. You All can't right, so, just bring in willy-nilly so, anybody so what uh, who has a... Oh, well, he did it to me, too. He did it to me, too. Uh, you know, it, it, I, I think this was politics. 
This was the Me Too movement. And between this and the Bill Cosby case, it, it spells the end, of, at least of the beginning of the Me Too movement, Dan. Um, I don't know about that, but I, I think from a legal perspective, I think maybe. But Misty, what do you think happens now? I mean, do you think the DA is going to retry this case? They're going to have to look at this case and really analyze whether or not, without all of that other evidence that did come in the original time, this case is going to rise and fall on the testimony of the complainants at, at, b without the other evidence. So, and, and remember, Harvey Weinstein was actually acquitted of two of the four charges, right. so it's not like they had a big slam dunk exactly. case in New York. So he really was convicted with respect to two women, and, and I have to tell you, watching their testimony was very difficult. Yeah. And, and do they want to get on the stand again? Right, that's the, going to be yes. the question. Face cross-examination right. again? That's going to be the question. Yeah. Re-traumatizing. Right. Yep. Uh, we shall see. And again, he'll make the argument in California. Look what they did in New York. But I don't know if that'll uh, necessarily uh, swing it, although they can make a similar argument based on California law. So we shall see.